taken one of my free afternoons to quickly do some measurements of the carbs. So what I'm thinking of doing is taking off the plastic air filter boxes we've got here um, and replacing it with pod filters. Now I know there's a lot of um, XVS pod filter kits and stuff out there but they just seem really really expensive and um, maybe I'm being a bit naive and thinking I might be able to work my way around it and I'll have to end up buying one of these pod kits but I'm pretty sure I can find some pod filters myself for cheaper and do that so that is why I'm out here measuring this today and hopefully we can find something that works now I am a little concerned because it looks like it's got dust and stuff in there and obviously carbs can't have anything in them and it just fucks up the whole engine so I am going I was going to clean it out anyway but I was I was expecting these to be pretty clean that you know I know it hasn't been touched in a while but also it hasn't been opened but What did I say this was? I have a phone call. I missed the said phone call. I have a feeling that was an important phone call as well, so... are actually meant to go there but that's where they are at the minute. I don't know if that was the last owner's decision to put that there. Kind of in the way. Now I've got those measurements, I can go look online and see what my options are and I will be back in a few days, maybe a week and see what I can fit on here. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. I'll leave that as that. Three days later. <laughs> Pod filters arrived this morning. Um, thanks everyone for all the suggestions and stuff. I posted on my Instagram that I needed a little bit of help kind of working stuff out. Um, I went for um, Ramer in the end. Ramer? Ramer? I think that's how you say it. But it was a good price. You know, there was a few others that you guys had suggested, but they were just quite expensive. But these are also like a known name brand, so I could trust it. So in terms of value for money, I guess. It was a good idea. I went for these sponge ones. So if I, uh, I'll bring you over and I'll show you what I got. So I've got my two carb filters here. So sponge with a rubber rubber neck. Yeah. So foam filters, rubber neck, and the clamps. And then I've also brought this uh, small breather filter. I realistically wanted one with an alloy neck because I've got a rubber, this is going to attach to a rubber pipe but they didn't do one with um, a solid neck so I mean it should still fit on because this one's a little bit bigger than the pipe that it's going to attach to. Um, then I also brought 
to some of the cleaning stuff that they recommended to put with it. I just thought for future it would be a good idea to grab it then and there. So I'll put that to the side. So I'm gonna grab my crosshair, my Allen keys, and my filters. Let's go. Got all these pockets in there. So first thing I'm going to do is take off all of the original stock air filter stuff. Yeah, I'm never any good at gauging the sizes for these things. Okay. Of course, I don't have anywhere safe to put this screw. flash forward to a few months time where I have no idea where I put that thing. I lose my mind trying to find it. some close-up shit for this bit. That'll do donkey. Right, so now we have our carburetors out. I'm gonna go put the pods on. Now I've been recommended to slip a bit of oil on it or something to slide it on. But to be honest, these are probably going to be coming off relatively soon. So what I do need to do is I need to clean out and I need to reject these carbs. Now, usually you you would reject the carbs, you know, on the day you've changed the filter, but. I'm thinking I'm going to run the bike a little bit first just to see if I can figure out whether it's running lean or rich. Obviously you would assume that it would start running quite lean with the change of the pods. These should give in way more air than the original stock filters but I've also changed the exhaust so I don't actually know how exactly that's going to affect the mixture between the fuel and the air. So stop yakking and pop this on actually. So I'm just going to have to see later I think. I think that would be the best idea personally but you know I might be wrong. That might be a silly idea entirely but that's what I'm going to do. When I first started up this bike, when I got it for the first time, it... Am I using the wrong tool for this? I'm not being a fucking idiot. Lord, give me strength. That is... That looks like it's better for a flathead. I don't really want to fuck up. Okay, give me one second. I'm going to go get a flathead. Right, let's hope I don't... Um, topple everything over while I do that. Now, I don't know if you can see what I'm trying to... Let's move that over there. Let's... Whatever. Yeah, excuse me running around like a fucking knobhead, but I don't really feel comfortable leaving my very expensive camera and my new AirPod kits right where people can see them and lick them. So, you know. Well, that is going in a lot easier. 
so I guess whatever so I double checked all the dimensions I know they're foam so they're quite spongy and they should be able to fit and be a little bit crushed not crushed but you know they, they have a little bit of leeway for the space they give but I made double I double checked that the space in between these two would um, would be you know enough that they weren't going to be bumping into each other the whole time. You see my dad at the minute isn't around to double check everything I do so he's not in the house at the minute so if I mess this up he's just going to come back and laugh at me so I'm hoping that I'll be able to prove to him I can do some of these things on my own but who knows oh <laughs> how have I managed to get that stuck in there oh Jesus okay I think that's one nice and snug all right, let's go for the second one. Yeah, as I was saying, my dad is in, in the house at the minute and it kind of, I kind of realized that I was, um, I was actually too, not only was I struggling to make decisions without him just because I don't really, I know I'm not a mechanic and I need to make sure I'm doing the right thing, but I was actually just really scared to make any of the decisions without him. Um, and I realized that that's not a, it was not a good way to be, like I needed to be able to be confident to do some of this stuff myself. You know, whether I had someone who, you know, knew more than me or not, I needed to be able to get on with it, you know. Dad's not always going to be there and if I want to get this bike done, I need to be able to have the... I don't know what the word is, I need to be able to just get on with it myself, not be such a fucking pussy about it. Uh, so yeah, that's why I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go do this anyway. I've ordered myself these pods and I've ordered myself a tank. The last time I ordered something was the tank and the handlebars and the bars didn't fit and I didn't like the tank. So hopefully proved not to my dad but to myself that I'm totally capable of doing this by myself. Here we are. Pod filters are on and I'm just going to get this. So this is the pipe tube I was talking about. It's got this, um, I don't quite know what these clamps are called. But it's got this kind of clamp on it. I don't know if I should take that off and use this clamp or, well sorry, I don't know if you can see. I don't know if this clamp or this kind of one would be better to keep that secure. I'm going to try this one first just because obviously it's got a little bit more, you can modify it to be tighter than, I mean this one just goes as it goes, so but we'll see. Um, I'm going to take it off first though. And that should just slide over the top. Oh god, please slide over the top. Oh dear. Definitely bigger than this tube. I think this tube has been a bit warped over time. Yeah. Have a look. I don't want to break my new filter trying to get this on though. Come on, I know you can do it. I know you can do it. Come on, dude. I double checked that this would fit. Bit of dick, aren't you? Unless I get a little bit of tubing to kind of go in, in between the two. I don't really want to do that. I want to get in. I will not be defeated by this. I'm going to move over. I might take my gloves off as well. It is absolutely freezing. We almost had snow the other day, so yeah, winter's not gone just yet. That's just the UK for you. But I could definitely get this to fit in if I just had a little bit more leeway with it. Look, that's that's gonna go in. It's gonna. Oh, I'm definitely not doing any favors for this poor little filter. There's too many wires and stuff in the way. Why is nothing ever easy? This is meant to be an easy job and I've somehow made it not easy for myself. By apparently ordering the wrong fucking size. Oh, I can't get my fingers in the places I need it to go. 
At least we know it will be a good snug fit once it's on there. You know? At least we know that for sure. That made a cracking sound, I didn't like that. Making that noise. Okay, it's on there, but it's not on there, if you get what I mean. No, 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 don't fall off, don't fall off, don't fall off, don't fall off, don't fall off. Oh, it fell off. Okay, but that means that it can definitely go on. Another thing I wanted to mention, actually, is I am thinking about taking these valve covers off. As you can see here, there's the bracket for the air filters on it anyway, and or goes in underneath. And I don't really like them. I might take them off today actually if I get the chance. I don't see why not. Bike was sent from God to make me wear a little stupid actually. And with much deliberation, I finally managed to get that filter on. I've also started taking off the valve covers. So I managed to get this one off. This one I started with, but broken and this doesn't want to come out easily it's getting stuck on bits inside so I also have not taken off the brackets for the filter but I don't know if you can see here where it's attached to so this was the bracket that put the valve cover on this is the bracket for the air filter but I don't know if there's anything else this thing it looks like this is I don't know, I need to double check the manual before I take this off, to be honest. I'm not sure if I'm just going to go buy like a different valve cover, like a black one maybe, or something like that, or if I'm going to leave it uncovered. Uh, it's not something I've thought about yet, but I've taken one off. This one, I might just have to snap it anyway, because I mean, these are just broken so I might just have to snap it to be able to get it off but you know that's that. Blessed with this though because this video is meant to be about the pods. The pods are very much off so that's what it looks like on the inside. Oh snug in there. Don't know if you can see what I managed to do there so all done. People giving me weird looks from outside. I've got the curtain for the um, tent garage thing completely open, so people have been watching me do this all day, which is embarrassing. So that is it for today's video. I'm just gonna go pop these somewhere safe and clean. This is the rest of it. Uh, thanks for watching. I know that wasn't really particularly informative at all, not that these videos have ever been informative, but yeah, so next week, might be tank video, fingers crossed, tank arrives and it's something that I like, I can kind of work it out. Um, might take the other valve cover off and see if I can find some other ones. I know I've been needing to get to the fucking mud guard and the sissy bar struts that I've been meaning to make for like five videos now or something, but it's coming, it's coming, I just need to make sure I don't know, that is something I need to really plan in my head because I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, that and I also need to hire out a metal bender and being at work and all that. It's but yes, anyways, that's done, we're done, we're done. I'm going inside, I'm gonna have some food and we're done. <laughs> but thank you guys, take it easy for me, keep it trashy, you know, do your thing. And I will be back next week fingers crossed with another video if not maybe the week after ciao yeah